YouTubers and YouTubees. We're going to be working on the Crown Victoria LX Sport today. Today we're going to do the dash cluster LED conversion. What you're going to need is a 7 millimeter socket. And you want to start by pulling this panel here. Just grab it on the side or with your door open and give it a pull. And then it unclips. You got two clips holding it in, one here and one over there. And you don't even have to unplug everything because you're next going to be taking out these bolts. There's two here. There's one here, one here, all of which are seven millimeter. And then also you need to pull this piece here that goes all the way across. Same thing, you want to open your passenger door. Reach around the side and give it a tug, and you'll hear it disconnect. And you just kind of work your way across. So in all, you have two, four, five, seven, eight. You have eight bolts. One here, here, here. Here, 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 and here. Take those out. Eight, seven millimeter bolts removed. You want to put your steering wheel down, and then you want to give a few tugs here and pull it towards you, and it'll disconnect. If you have the factory radio in it, you want to remove that first. Um, I do not, of course, have the factory radio, so I pull it out as one unit. Just connect your rear defogger. You press in the tab and pull back on the plug and it disconnects. Get that out of your way. That gives you room to pull this out, this whole unit. You do want to disconnect your lights and dimmer switch. Same thing, you depress the button on top for your dimmer. Pull out the plug. For the headlight, it is underneath, so you press in from underneath and pull back. With that whole trim pulled out, I pull it out with the radio and all on mine. Um, unfortunately, I've had to do this about eight times. Um, I did try red lights in there. Uh, they were not bright enough. Um, I tried a couple different sets of white ones, and then I finally found the ones I use for everything now, uh, the LED white ones that are uh, nice and bright and make it look good. So next you want to pull out your four seven millimeters here. There's one, two, three, four. Pull those next. Once you have removed your four screws for the cluster itself, it will just pull back towards you. And there's going to be two plugs on the bottom back of that. So what you want to do is pull it out and then gently press in the buttons and take the plugs out. What I found works the best is you lean the top back and keep pulling out on the bottom until it disconnects. Now on uh, the non-LX Sport, you do have the Prindle in here and I'm not sure if it's electrical or if it's got a mechanical wire, so you want to be careful of that. I don't have it because my gear shifter is on the center console. So here are those plugs I was talking about. Helps if you have two hands, but here's one on the bottom back, and that's why you pull out on the bottom. You can push it in here and pull it straight back. And the other one is on the other side, it's white. Same thing. You want to push in here and pull out on it. 
now that you have your gauge cluster out, you can see um, the illumination lights are indicated with the ILL around them. And it's just embedded somewhere near the light. So you want to start replacing those. The other ones will tell you it says airbag, it's your brake light, high beam. Um, so for the illumination, quarter turn counterclockwise pulls out. And you see I've already replaced mine with these LEDs. Those were the brightest ones I could find and they work great. Now when you put it in and you install it into the holder, install it, you do a quarter turn. Now you want to go ahead and replace all the ones that say ILL next to them for illumination. This one, this one, this one, this one here, this one here, this one here, and this one here. Now once you all have them all replaced, you want to just set your cluster back in there plug it in and then test it you know plug in your light switch turn on your lights and make sure they all light up before you go putting everything back together if the bulb does not light up you want to remove the bulb take it out pull it out of the holder and turn it 180 degrees and then put it back in the holder but make sure you remember what way you pulled it out because um, the leds are pole specific so you have to be facing a certain way. This is where your plugs go in here for test. And then once you test it, make sure everything lights up. And adjust your light switch so you can test it. This really helps if you do it in a dark garage to see if they all light up. Make sure they all light up with the cluster just setting in there and then that way you can take it right back out if it does not if you have one or two that do not light and then once you have all of them working you go ahead and button everything back up in reverse order i hope you found this video helpful if you did please give it a like and consider subscribing thank you and good luck with your conversion have a great day